Hi, my name's Reese from the Eastern Suburbs School of Music. Today teaching you the bass line from the ABBA classic, Fernando. There's a verse and a chorus part to learn, and this is really great, this tune, for learning chord shapes and outlining a chord on the bass guitar. There's going to be two shapes we learn. The major shape, which we start with straight away in the verse. So what I'm playing here is the A major. So that is starting at 5th fret on your top thick string, the 4th string, 5, 7 and 7 on the next strings down, so 5, 7 down a string, 7 down a string, and then finishing at 6 on string number 1, the skinny string down the bottom, 5, 7, 7, 6, or for those of you who know your fretboard, A, E, A, sharp and that goes three times passing note fourth fret of your fourth string the thickest string at the top of the bass that's a G sharp note for those of you playing along at home goes now to the minor shape F sharp minor so the two shapes you need to learn major and minor Move those around the fretboard, but let's look at this F sharp minor. Same start as what we just did for the A. This time fret numbers two, down a string, four, down a string, four. Whereas major would have had us hitting that note. Minor had us hitting second fret on string one, so. So I'd probably pause this video now, take some good time learning those two shapes, the A, which goes three times, pass, F sharp, the minor shape. As I said, pause the video, learn this first part of the verse, it's going to be very helpful to teach you basically the whole verse. So after this F sharp minor twice, we're going to take that minor shape, move it up to 7th fret, so it now becomes B minor. And if you're getting lost and need the tab, look up my Patreon account. You'll see a little tab maybe appearing above me now, uh, or look in the links below. You'll find a link to the Patreon page. We'll have my tab that I'm going off to uh, teach you this particular lesson. So find that at my Patreon account, Reeslet on Patreon. Uh, we've got the B minor. Which then goes back to E. It's a major shape, but we're coming off the open string this time. So it might physically look a little bit different. We're using the open fourth string E. 2nd fret, a string down, 2nd fret, a string down, 1st fret to finish it out. So it does have that same shape as the A, it's just working off an open position. And then goes back to the A. That's your verse, or the first half of the first verse. Um, take some time learning that now. I'm just going to put that together for you. A, 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 pass, F sharp minor, F sharp minor, up to B minor, seventh fret. Learn those shapes. Back to the open one at E. do get a bar of 2-4 on that E. Basically, you're just taking out the pause between each chord and moving straight into the A chord is a way to think of it. As I said though, grab the chord chart, grab my tab off the Patreon, it'll get a little bit easier to learn, as well as looking up my cover version, which just look at the tab above me, or in the links below, it'll take you to my cover version. So that is the first half of verse 1. 
All that we actually do now is take all those parts 12 frets higher. That's called playing an octave higher. Same notes. How about we play the right frets, eh? All just played 12 frets higher. To locate them as well, use your dots that are on your fretboard. You do have dots at 3, 5, 7, 9. Double dots at 12, signaling the octave. Octave meaning same letter name, different pitch. That's an E, that's an E. Double dots, 12. The single dots past those double dots though, represent the same fret areas as what we see at three, five, seven, nine, three, five, seven, and I run out of frets to have a nine on this particular bass, but 15 is equivalent of three, 17 is equivalent of five. So I'm moving up to 17 using that shape A, 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 pass, F sharp. F sharp. Now on this bass, I have to change my B minor shape where I'm using 14 on my A string or the third string, 16 and 16 on the next strings down, 14, 16, 16, and then going to my last dot at 19 on string one. As I said, grab the tab. Nice and easy to read that off. The E shape, major. And that's how I'm ending my verse with the 17, or the 19, sorry, 19 on string three, the A string. Sliding back. Double dots 12 on that same string. So landing it at A, the root note going from the fifth of the chord to the root note. And then that'll take you to the chorus. So I'll just run through all of verse one. Verse two, you are simply just doing the higher octave playing. So verse two is already taught to you by running this. Verse one, first half, lower octave, A, A, F sharp, F sharp, B minor, B minor, one more time, E, Up. B minor with that altered shape because I run out of frets. E. into your chorus. Pause this video now, take time to learn the verse, sign up to my Patreon while you're at it, you get all the tabs for the videos on my channel. And when you're ready, let's have a look at the chorus. The chorus of Fernando sounds like this. So walking bass part on E, down to A, back to E,
reverse it goes. So let's break that down. Once again, if you've got the tab or the chord chart off our Patreon, it'll make this much easier to learn. Sign up today. So I've got the E, the pattern open E, fourth fret on that same fourth string, the G sharp, E, G sharp, B, second fret of the third string, C sharp, fourth fret. And hopefully you're starting to learn your fretboard from this too. Twice. And then the same pattern, just drop down a string on the A. And that's your first four bars, and it almost gets fully repeated on the second line, E twice, A once. We then run into this G diminished line. So I'm hitting G, third fret of your top string, down to the fourth fret. And then second five and second frets on that third, second string, the D string. G third fret, C sharp fourth fret, the next string down. Two five two, G diminished. Runs now to the F sharp. Again, just the arpeggio walking bass pattern, the frets, second fret for the F sharp note, first fret and fourth fret on the next string down, the A string, first fret of the F second string, and hopefully you've learnt some of those arpeggio parts from other bass lessons on this channel, look them up, there's plenty here, subscribe if you've learnt something to B. So that same major arpeggio pattern, this time B, second fret of your third string, first fret, and we pump the fourth fret on that second string, B, uh, da, 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 bum. back to the root note, one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and, and that is timed with that, if I had to do the same again. So let's summarize this first half of the chorus. Help out if you've got that chord chart of Patreon too, make this easier to learn. E, E, A. Back to E, two E's, only one A, goes to G diminished, F sharp major, B major, pump, if I had to do the, this next part of the chorus, the second half, E, as we've done, E again, to an A, back to the E twice, and here's the only new bit to learn, D, D over F sharp, E, and that's the chorus, uh, let's just look at what we need to do for this D part, I'm on the 5th fret of the 3rd string, the D note, D, D, so 5, 5, 7, Follow your dots on your bass, nice and easy to do. Five, five, seven, nine, nine, eleven, twelve. That was all on your third string. Little feel. Eleven, twelve, eleven on your second string. And then back to seven and E on string number three, or you could even do the E that's at 12th fret, double dots on your, your top four string. Think 
I do hear a little slide maybe on that recording as to why I've gone to that seven. But that does teach you now the entire song for Fernando. Look up my cover version to play along with it. Very important, you listen and play along to the tune. Um, cover version, little tab will appear above me now or the link is below in the video description. If you've learned something from this video, please subscribe to our channel, The Eastern Suburbs School of Music. As I've mentioned many times, we've got a Patreon account going now. Look up the tab, the chord chart for uh, this particular tune on my Patreon. And if you've got a question, comment, or even a request like this video has been, please leave them on this video. I'll get around to answering them as soon as possible. Good luck learning Fernando by ABBA.